I'm going to extend some this piece. It's a little bit smaller. Okay, good. Nine cents. All right, this video is a short little video about how I introduce fractions in my seventh grade math class. Uh, I think it's really important to start with hands-on materials. So one thing I do is I use the fraction set of Unifix cubes that really um, uh, tend to be uh, a huge aid for students as they're learning with fractions. Yes, can okay, I need to look and see, compare. Okay, we can, all, we can all visualize that, they're really close. They're really close to the same thing. It's a little bit less than one tenth. So I'm getting the students prepped for this activity. There's four questions on the front, four on the back, all different basic addition problems with fractions. Now the fractions have to be somewhat basic so they work with the cubes, but I created all of them so they can um, uh, see the connections between decimals um, and fractions. So I think one of the biggest mistakes we make as teachers is we start teaching fractions and we completely stop mentioning decimals um, or percents nonetheless. So I really, from the start, have kids do decimal estimation with a simple problem even as simple as one half plus one fourth or one third plus one fourth. Um, that way they're seeing the connection between the numbers and they're less likely to make silly mistakes if they're doing that decimal estimation from the start. What's 33 cents plus 9 cents? Uh, 40. 42. 42 cents. Okay, so that's what so one cool thing I think that I do with this is I use a makeshift document camera. I have this little stand here. I place my iPad on top of it, just like so, and um, it allows me to um, project this in my classroom using my Apple TV, and kids can easily see up on the screen what I'm doing, and then they can um, come up and demonstrate problems too. I think one of the coolest things I'll show you today. What's 41 cents close to as a fraction? For what? Tenths. Four tenths. Okay, here's four tenths. We're saying 1 12th plus 1 third is close to 4 tenths. Look how close that actually is. Like almost as like a hair, just a little bit shorter. Okay, so we keep going here. All you're gonna do is take one color at a time and you're gonna match up and say, do they match up? So let's look. Really close once again, but that makes sense logically because 2 fifths is the same as what? 4 tenths, but are they exactly the same? No, they're off a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna try another color. And try the eights. Those are exactly the same? Nope. Okay, this is all you need to do is just take one color at a time and find a match. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, I know it seems like kind of silly, but I just go one color at a time until I find one that's way off or off. Ooh, okay. Now I look. Those are like literally identical, right? Okay, sorry, it's kind of on the screen weird. Okay, those are literally identical to each other. So let's count together and look and see, first off with the third. I really realize how pasty white my hands are too when I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm not much of a tanner, I don't tan. So that takes me about a day to complete that activity. This other activity I do um, is a follow-up and it allows students to start to make connections with their paper pencil in addition to using the uh, blocks. And so um, this is an, ex I'll show you a couple examples of two different students. This is actually live during class of them explaining it to their classmates. So they're a little bit nervous in the first place because they're explaining it to their classmates, but they do a good job of explaining why these answers equal what they do. All right, so our problem is two-thirds plus three-fourths. So the first thing you do before adding is make sure the denominators are the same. So you take two-thirds times a whole, four over four, to get eight-twelfths. And then you do the same thing to three-fourths. Three-fourths times one whole, three-thirds, equals nine-twelfths. And then you equal the things that you got to 
when you got the same denominator and 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths equal 17 over 12 and that is an improper fraction so then it would change into 1 fifth 1 and 5 over 12. Awesome. Very good. Let's give him a hand. Okay, take it over. Okay, so I took two fifths times four over four, and then one fourth over five, or times five over five, and then I got eight twentieths, and then five twentieths, and then I add eight, and then I added eight twentieths and five twentieths, and that equals thirteen twentieths. Awesome. Very good. Now, well, before you stop here, I, I like this great description. Very good. Okay. Did we already say above or below half? Above. Above. And if you want to see here visually, I'll put those out there. Even though we don't have 20th, okay, you can see that that is above half. Okay, that's a really important mental exercise. Wait, take that one sentence out. Did we take a picture for number five?